Hi guys, so I've got some holiday coming up and uh, I thought I'd go through a few of the projects that I've got lined up um, to keep me off the streets and out of trouble. Uh, as you can see here I've got um, a few game gears uh, which I picked up off on eBay. Uh, they all seem to be in relatively good condition so I'm going to refurbish them, they just need new capacitor kits as far as I'm concerned, a bit of t tender loving care. But what I was going to do while I was refurbishing them is put in the um, LED mod so that your six batteries last a bit longer than two hours or an hour and a half. Um, so what I've done is I've already done one here with an LED mod. You can see where you take out the um, transformers that uh, puts up the voltage for the CCL tube here at the back and uh, you replace them with two 5mm LEDs pointing inwards and I put the tube back in again so to diffuse the light a little bit more but I wasn't convinced with the brightness of this. I was using uh, some spare white LEDs I had knocking around from a, an old project I did and I wasn't convinced by the um, the brightness of it, certainly compared to the um, original tube. So uh, I went online and I put, picked up some um, LEDs. I've got a couple of 5mm ones here. Uh, the ones that are in here were 12,000, so I've got some 14,000 ones. Now these 14,000 ones are also more interesting because the beam angle is 40 degrees, not 20, which means hopefully the light is spread a little bit more. Now this one was a ridiculous 44,000 but the beam angle on this is only 10 degrees so it's probably not going to shine much anywhere and my last option was um, a surface mount LED and uh, now it only says it's, it's uh, 1100 uh, MCDs here but the beam angle is 120 degrees so it's very very widespread and obviously I have them up on a, a board here and I had them lit up and basically blinded myself definitely by these ones and it come, this looks like to be the best one, the surface mount LEDs look to be the best one that gives a good even coverage. Uh, all I need to do now is uh, spend some time working on the back of this and experimenting whether I shine the, stick them to the back of the inside of the um, reflector and just shine them straight onto the screen or do I place them at the side and shine them into the reflector then it reflects it evenly. We don't know, I don't know how I'm going to do that, that's something I'm going to do over the next week. When I've perfected it on my test one here then I'll go through and I'll, I'll do these three Game Gears and uh, mod them up so that they're ready for um, the resale. Uh, the next project I've got going which has been gestating for a very long time which is my Super Nintendo project. The idea is to put a PC inside a Super Nintendo so I've got a Super Nintendo here and I've uh, taken out the insides and I need to get the Dremel to it to take out some of this and uh, this is a really good condition, this has got no coloration on it, so this is a good um, one to use. Now I've got a test subject here, which is a bit more of a knackered one, I've taken all the uh, fronts off it. It's my test subject, uh, and it's got a cracked front here, and uh, what I've done is I've got the motherboard in it at the moment, and just test fitting to see if it goes, and I've cut off uh, the backs here very loosely just to see whether I want to fit it. Now I've got ideas in my brain on the best way to do this. I think what I'm going to do eventually is fit this um, motherboard in a sort of sort of plastic carriage case that just sort of slides in from the back uh, and the hard drive which is at the moment as you can see sort of lurking around on the outside that will go um, f be fit underneath the, the sort of box as it all slides in so it's all one compact unit. The other thing I wanted to do which was to keep the Super Nintendo controller ports at the front just for Super Nintendo controllers. So what I've got here is I've uh, taken apart a Mayflash USB controller and wired it up uh, to the controller pins at the front so the controller just plugs in it works. Unfortunately uh, this particular USB board, this Mayflash controller board, is very picky about which controllers you use even including uh, official controllers. It seemed, I've got one controller it works perfectly with, I've got a second official controller and it just only does the B button. I've looked online and apparently that's a, a common problem with this uh, things with this USB controller so I've managed to, I've just chuck, I'm going to chuck this one away and I've ordered a new one from Canada which is a much better one um, and we'll see how that goes and what I'm going to do is at the moment I've got this connected to just a wire goes underneath the board and plugs into the USB port what I'm going to do is, uh, I've got a USB header here, I'm just going to cut the wire off at the end and then attach that uh, directly to the board so I've got it wired internally, so the whole thing's internal so that the USB ports on the back don't have wires hanging out the back, so it should be a very clean mod. And that's my 
ongoing project which I've been working on for many, many years. But, you know, maybe next week I might actually get some more of it done. And last but by no means least is a fun, fun, fun project that I've uh, come across, and that's to uh, take the old Commodore 64. I've got it, I've taken it apart here. Um, and again, take all this out and put in uh, a more modern PC. Now, I know you can buy these uh, modern Commodore 64 PCs direct from Commodore. There's a licensing thing where you can get them, but I'm not interested in that. I'm interested in taking this board out, putting in my own PC, and uh, having fun with that. And also what I've got here is a, a little side project I'm doing. Um, and if you've seen my earlier videos, I've put a, a Super Nintendo controller uh, and all the games inside a controller and here is a competition pro USB one you can buy these they're only about uh, 10 or 15 pounds uh, and I bought one of these because a friend of mine he really loves, likes Amiga games so what I'm going to do is um, uh, put this one together with, again with a hub inside and uh, a memory card and he'll be able to load on his own Amiga games and uh, just play it all from this one controller. I'll probably throw in some Commodore 64 games as well. Um, and that's about it. There's uh, lots of things for me to be getting on with and uh, hopefully uh, some more of the results will be shown on YouTube. Alright, bye bye.